Ulysses S. Grant, newly promoted to command all Union armies, moved south to confront the Army of Northern Virginia under the command of General Robert E. Lee. When Grant enters the wilderness, he runs into the Confederate Army, which is just as surprised as the Union Army. Both sides bring in reinforcements as the battle swells. When Grant was notified that the Army of Northern Virginia was in the wilderness, he called in reinforcements from General Sedgwick's Sixth Corps. After the Confederate and Union attacks failed to break either line, the Confederate and Union armies reformed and the battle slowed to a heavy skirmishing. By the time the sun set, nothing had been gained but over 10,000 casualties, and neither side showed any sign of retreating. The next morning, Grant ordered a giant attack at 5 a.m. This attack surprised the Confederates and pushed them back almost a mile.
the Union attacks lasted until Longstreet's First Corps attacked the Union Army's left flank. After that, the Union line retreated back to where they had started that morning. During this time, Longstreet was shot by his own men, who were confused by the dense brush, and he was seriously wounded. last action of the battle was an attack by the Confederates on the Union right flank at 5 p.m. This attack broke the Union line but was soon repulsed. Ready? Yeah. Aim. Fire. That night, after the battle, the Union Army, under the command of General Grant, began to retreat southeast instead of north, which was the beginning of the Overland Campaign. Thus, the Battle of the Wilderness would not be the last time Grant and Lee would meet. Battle of the Wilderness, Dead, Union, 2,200, Confederate, 1,500, Wounded, Captured, and Missing, Union, 15,400, Confederate, 9,000. 600 total Union 17,600 Confederate 11,100